Hey, special guest here today. Mark's off goofing off. I don't know where he is. You're the man. Got hey. Craig Primo with us. So we're out here at Central Avenue Townhomes. With Lenar. It's a Lenar neighbor, brand new. Like nobody's even living here yet. Yep. yep. Uh, we are three miles that way to like Hutchison Square, downtown, downtown yep. Somerville, super historical. Oh yeah. These are all going to be spec homes and they're coming soon. It's just the next couple months are going to be available and price point starting at under 300. Yeah. So they started right now 290. I think the most expensive one is like 312. For so like an end unit? Right? Yeah, for an end so. unit, the big one. We're gonna go through all of them here and show them to you. But before then, I wanted to tell you there's an $180 monthly HOA, HOA regime fee, but right. that includes a bunch of stuff. What all does that cover? Yeah, 185 for the HOA. For common areas like the landscaping, they do irrigation through all, so it's gonna look nice. Yeah. There's gonna be insurance covered in that, trash collection, pressure washing along oh, the trash side. trash too. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. So even some uh, termite and pest control stuff, so don't have to worry about really anything. Yeah. So it's just fully covered. Turn your power on, move in. Yeah, so I'm loving that. The uh, model homes are right behind us this way, so um, you all wanna go take a look? Yeah, let's go see them inside. All right. All right, Mr. Primo, uh, here at the Thatcher. It's a 2,400 square foot, two story, three bedroom, two and a half bath. Right inside the front door is the master, and then it's got the, you know, obviously an ensuite bathroom here with a nice big shower and a walk in closet. And you'll notice when you get over here, they put the tech closet in the, in the primary closet there. So that's where all of your internet, Wi Fi, all that works out of that room there. So one nice thing here is the laundry is right inside front door also, but it's right outside the, the main bedroom there. So not a long way to go. Close and convenient. Close and convenient. We'll go upstairs in a second, but big open space. So, so many options you could do here. Yeah. I mean, you could do, I think, really a totally separate dining and living space in this room. It's big enough. And this is actually pretty nice on, on these ones. It's backed up to a little pond out there. These will be done in, in just a couple months. Yeah. They're, they're pretty far along. Let's got like a two car driveway each. Yep. Oh, walk-in pantry, plenty big. Yeah. You don't see those in townhomes too often. No, this is a big townhouse. I mean, 2,400 square foot is a big townhouse. Yeah. And it's, it's an end unit for sure, but. All right, I'm gonna let you go up the steps first because Mark always does this to me. He follows me up the steps and then he's like focused in on my butt the whole way up okay, the steps. Yep. It's a little sure concerning. A lot of there's one person in the world who wants to see that. <laughs> There's so much space up here. This would be my favorite room I'd spend all Oh my time. goodness. This is massive. I had no idea this would be this big up here. Yeah, I would spend 85% of my life in yeah. this room. Eight huge windows, tons of sunlight coming in here. We don't have many lights on in here right now. Nope. You can put a ceiling fan right here. And I bet this is the half, nope, that's a closet. So there's- a Double closet. Yeah, another closet. Wow. This has a lot of space for a townhouse. It does. So, good sized bedrooms up here. That's one of the things with townhouses often is the secondary bedrooms always feel a little small sometimes. This one is really big. So here's the bathtub if you need it. Yep. That's the kids, you need to have a bathtub in the house, there is. All right, that's the Thatcher. 2400, three bedroom, two and a half bath. Let's go to the next one. Sounds good. All right, which one are we in front of now, Craig? So we're in the Jordan this time, and it's right next to the end unit on the inside. And even coming in, there's still some good living space here. Kitchen and dining room kind of accessible, but then there's kind of like two separate living spaces, one down here and one upstairs that we yep. can see, so. The first unit we were in, the living space was at the back of the house. This one has it at the front of the house. Well, it depends on where you're coming from because actually the driveway is that way, so well, you could. Well, you know what, that's true. With yeah. these kind of being two, you could probably be entering from, from both sides. Yep, so half bath right there, closet. Yeah, so if you're pulling up with your car, you'll be coming through this way, and the master down is actually right here. Okay, I got you. Yep. Yeah, it's a little deceiving because it kind of has a, a main entrance in two different sides of the house. Right, yeah, so, yeah. Master suite here with, uh, again, the um, utility closet being part of your closet. And again, I think only the tub showers are upstairs. We got a nice walk-in shower here. Yeah, but this one is total how many bedroom? We got three bedroom and 2.5 bath. Okay. So we've seen one and a half here, so the other one will be upstairs. Uh oh, we have a decision to make. There's a left oh. turn or a right turn. Uh oh, let's go right. Go right? All right. Follow so me. to the right, another loft space. Yeah. And still, I mean, 
I love how much space you get. Yeah, definitely plenty big to do something with. Yeah. And then good size bedroom, bedroom here. Closet. Big closet. Yeah. Liking it. A little less light in this main room, so. Yeah. Down two. To the other side, we've got laundry to. room. Okay. Goes into, well, kind of like a two entrance All right, yeah. bathroom. And then, yeah, I think the bedrooms are the biggest thing here. They're just very spacious. Yeah, this is a good size, yeah. for especially for a secondary. Walk-in closets everywhere, so. All right. Yeah, that's a Jordan, top 2,000 square feet. Off to the next. Let's go. All right, so we're here at the Morgan now. 1897 to 1905 square feet. I'm not sure what the difference would be for that. Right, yeah. But and this is they're the all smallest? specs. So. This is the smallest of the bunch, too. It still feels plenty big. So this one has, this would be like an office space. Could be dining room, wow. flex room. Yeah. This is the first flex space we've seen, really. Okay, this one's going to have all the bedrooms upstairs. Right. That's the difference. Okay. So all communal space down here. Mm -hmm. But definitely plenty room. Yeah. I'm Definitely. still getting tripped out a little bit by... Okay, so the, there is a porch here also. So if you did park here, you do have a porch space here overlooking the cars and then the pond. Looking out to the pond, yeah. But this is, this is definitely big enough. It is, yeah. It feels bigger than the previous, but again, like you said, everything is upstairs, so... Yeah, and this one is, is listed as having a home office, so that's kind of what they're calling that, oh, okay. that front yep. space so there. So home office is downstairs. All right, so one smaller bedroom here in the front that totally has a big enough closet yep. and another bedroom here with kind of a an l-shaped floor plan oh interesting and right a decent the closet here so bathroom here for okay. those first two right tub shower laundry right outside the primary which is always nice yeah that was a nice view back here you wake up to that so again, shower in here, but you do have a bathtub in the other bathroom if you need it. So that's the Morgan. Well, one more to go. I'm gonna head over to the Drayton now. All right, see you there. All right, so we're at there. our last one. It's called the Drayton. It has four bedrooms. It's another end unit. One of the bedrooms is gonna be immediately as you walk in. It's this one to the left. And shovel closet, plenty of space. You can make this into an office if you want to. Oh, for sure. Yep, but it's just one of the four. It's down here, right next to the bathtub. So that's good if you had guest visiting or somebody that you That'd know be the perfect spot yeah a kid that wanted to have a private bathroom there just for themselves so a few options for that first bedroom but then you walk into the living space and you can set up some kind of dining table here flows yep. into the kitchen which is honestly pretty yeah it's nice very looking. very open yeah how many square foot is this house total we have about 2130 so pretty nice and gas stoves I like to see and then yep gas neighborhood how can you do it with the living space I mean yeah, I, what we've seen a lot of people do in a house like this that doesn't have a fireplace if they want one, mm -hmm. like this wall over here would be really good to put one of those electric fireplaces in. Oh, easy, yeah. And then set up your TV right there too. Did you see the one that Mark put in his house? Did you ever yeah. see? It's beautiful. It's the easiest thing too. So it goes off in a few directions, but you have this kind of, you can make it into a sitting room as you come up here. Or... It totally could be a, an office too. Honestly, yeah. Kids play area. This has got to be the master. I'm seeing a closet over here. Nice and spacious walk-in. And then bathroom. Yep, stand-up shower. Your own personal linen. And double vanity, not bad. Nice. All right, so, so they don't have ceiling fans. But they, um, they mount them with those metal brackets, so it's easy to put in one. And I think they're already wired for it too. Right, so yeah, whenever you see two switches and yeah, in a room like this with two switches, that's one of them's gonna be the ceiling fan. Okay. Yep. You know, one thing too I like here is there's one of these downstairs and one upstairs. Oh, so it's two different zones. That is a game changer. So yeah. if you want to have it, you know, colder up here to sleep. Yep. Yeah, two bedrooms right next to this bathroom. Each one has a double closet. It's pretty, pretty nice. I like it. All right, so that's the fourth one. And, uh, oh, fire alarm battery needs changed. <laughs> yeah, that's the Drayton 2130 end unit, four bedroom, yeah. But all that'll be done by the time you move in. But if you want to find out more about these, down in the description, you can click a link, schedule a phone call with us, and we can talk about if this is what you're looking for. So let us know if you need anything, and we'll see you in the next one. All right.